improves to 10-0. They'll take on Maryland next week in Maryland. But this is one that they will feel really good about, especially when they rejoin their head coach after this game. And our Jenny Taft is on the field. Well, what a moment, Gus, here for Sharon Moore. Congratulations first on the win. To say that this has been a crazy 24 hours for your guys to win on the road in this environment when there were doubts. Sharon, what does it mean to you? Well, I thank the Lord. I oh, thank Coach Harbaugh. Oh, I love you, man. I love the shit out of you, man. But this for you. For this university, the president, our AD. We got the best players, best university, best alumni in the country. Love you guys. These fucking guys right here. These guys right here, man. These guys did it. These guys did it, man. Love to him, man. Love you. Thank you, Coach. Like, I mean, the emotion says it all from Sharon Moore, and I know how much you guys look up to him. How proud are you of the way he stepped up to this challenge today? Yeah, I expected nothing less. You know, I expect nothing less from any of my Michigan men. You know, we did this for Michigan, you know? Like, what are you going to do when your back's against the wall? You know, when you feel like everyone against you, what are you going to do? Are you going to cower down? Oh, I was taught to stand at all 10. You know, keep playing, keep playing, keep punching, keep, keep going, keep going. And I mean, I'm so proud of the university. I'm so proud of my guys, the coaches, you know, Coach Harbaugh. It's for you, buddy. You know, I'm, I'm just so proud of my guys, man. You know, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. You know, everything that's going on right now is just bringing us closer together. You know, I love my team. I'll praise God. Well, you had an incredible game. And really, the way Coach Moore used you in the second half, using the run game, your abilities, how would you describe just your ability to rise to the occasion? You know, this is what uh, I was made for. This is what my team was made for. The offensive line, I told them, just fight, man. Push, push, and I'm going to run downhill. You know, I'm so proud of Donovan. I'm so proud of the tight ends. JJ, you know, he got dinged up, but he kept fighting, man. This team's full of fighters, you know, and that's what I love about him. You know, that's why I came back. You know, I came, I didn't come back for stats. I didn't come back for touchdowns. I came back for these guys. I came back to win. You know, I'm just so blessed. You know, I'm so blessed. There's still a lot of uncertainty when it comes to you guys and Coach Harbaugh and what will be made of his future for the rest of the season. But you guys have a lot to still accomplish on the road at Maryland, then you go home for that big one. How do you continue this momentum? And we just gotta, you know, be where our feet are, take everything in, and just stay together as one. You know, Coach Harbaugh has instilled in us, you know, what it's like to be a team. You know, we have built a culture at the University of Michigan, and it's a good one. You know, so we just gotta be where our feet are. Uh, this guy right here, and just, just keep going, just keep going. Uh, don't change anything. Be ourselves and love one another. Congratulations. Enjoy. Thank you. Go Blue. Lake Corn, bloody to bruise playing for his coach, both coaches, Coach Harbaugh at the hotel and Coach Jerome Moore, who stepped in for Jim today and won a big one on the road against the 10th ranked team in the country. Final score, 24-15, Michigan remains undefeated. Virginia Tab and Joel Clyde of Gus Johnson saying so long for Happy Valley, Rob Stone and the guys coming up after this. On a